Hello there friends and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have two mods to review for you guys. First up we have the New Holland Power Baler version 1.0 along with the New Holland Auto Load Bale Trailer. Now both of these mods come in the same pack. You will have to unzip the first zip file, take the two zip files inside and put them on in your mods folder. So basically once for the harvester and once for the trailer. Then we have over here the load loader. Gale Trailer SC version 1.0. Now I use this in my Let's Plays and it's fantastic. It has a lockdown option, it has retractable sides and ramps. So what we're going to do guys is we're going to take a look at these, talk about a few things. We're going to go over the shop, check out some of the specs and then I'm going to take them out on the field and test them out for you. So let's start with this guy. First up, we have the New Holland Power Baler version 1.0. The file size is 54 megabytes. The power is 397 kilowatts and 540 horsepower. Price in the shop is 285,000 with a $1,120 a day maintenance fee. Max speed is 53 kilometers. Work speed is 20 kilometers an hour. Capacity is 4,000 liters and it works on all three things, grass, hay, and straw. Then the trailer the New Holland Auto Loader Bale Trailer. The capacity is 24 square bales. Price in the shop is 22,500 and the daily maintenance fee is $10. So let's take a little walk around. This looks pretty similar to the one I reviewed the other day, but it's an all-in-one instead of a half and half and half. Very nice job they did on this and it works fantastically. Now that is an auto load trailer, so when the bales do run off, they will auto stack on the back. And like I said, it holds 24 bales. So really, really good job they did on this. So let's jump on inside and test out a few things. First up, the lights. Overheads, backlights, and brights on the mirrors work just fine. Our beacons work just great. Our hazards work, so the signal lights should work as well. And indeed they do. Horn. Very nice. Okay, let's take an internal look. And we'll look inside the cab here. Looks like your basic New Holland harvester. I don't think anything has changed here, but everything seems to work just great. The speedometer works just great. So, lift and lower. And to start it up, well, I have to unfold it first course but we will do that once we test it out so that is that now let's move to the trailer like I said I use this in my let's plays and a lot of people were asking about it so I'm just gonna review it and put the link down below so you guys can get it too this is the low loader Gale trailer SC version 1.0 the file size is 10 megabytes the price in the shop is 97,500 with a $60 a day maintenance fee the width of this is 11.2 meters but it has retractable sides little pegs that come out and boards go on top and it'll expand up to 12 meters as well as the ramp in the back you can narrow that and widen it and it has little pegs that come out and boards to widen it and it'll fit that harvester just nicely which we're going to be testing here momentarily but first I want to take you over to the shop so we can go over a couple things there First we're going to look at the low loader, there it is there, the Gale trailer, and everything I said, right there. Okay, let's go back, we'll go back to the balers, right here. Yeah, I was going to review this guy, but he is broken, but I'm going to show him to you guys anyway, and I might even put the link down below, because maybe somebody could take it and fix it up. I, I really like this, it works great, but, uh, well it looks great I should say, but it doesn't work some of the lights are unfinished it uh yeah it can lower the implement here but it won't pick up anything so it's unfortunate but maybe somebody can fix that up hopefully and there is your harvester right there and your trailer and they're both under bailing technology so let's go test these out so i'm going to run over here grab my semi and hook up to that trailer and we're gonna put this through a little test a little bit of an extreme test to show you that the lockdown works just fine on it I hope I mentioned that it does have a lockdown feature that's the main selling point with this as well as it can uh, widen so I will show you those features right now 
Let's bring up my tool menu, which I lost. Okay, there we go. So the B button will widen the platforms as well as the ramps. The Z button will lower it down, but first I want to expand that. If I hit the keypad 4, well, you can see them getting wider there and narrow. I'm going to leave it wide. So the number pad period button or the delete button is for the little pegs in the back here. Now, look just below the ramps there and you'll see this working. See them flipping? I already had it down. So you might want to put them down when you're putting something on because it seems to be a little slippery when you don't put them on. So just keep that in mind. And uh, when I retract the, the extensions on the side, you can see all the pins going in. Isn't that cool? Really like that. Thought that was fantastic. Pre press the Z key to lower that down. And of course, the... Um, what would you call that? This... Uh, slash button or the uh, forward slash that controls the little bin up front because you can actually get that out of the way you're not going to work for me okay no sorry that's that it's the uh, delete button there we go so yeah it gives you a few extra inches there if you want to uh, bring something right up on top okay so everything's down there let's jump out of here and jump in my harvester this is the biggest new holland in the game pretty much the biggest vehicle in the vanilla version so if it it's just fine i hope those legs are down yes they are they don't look like they're touching the ground but just fits that perfectly you can see there it just overhangs by a little inch i probably have a little bit more room on this side but that's fine we will jump out I'll jump in here right quick. I'm going to press the X button to lock that down. Lock load. Okay, so that should be locked up. We're going to bring up the ramps. And I'm going to put this to a silly test. So you can see that's not moving anywhere. That's locked down. So that always comes in handy. I love that option when you get that. So I'm going to drive this off a cliff. <laughs> and show you that it's not going to go anywhere. Let's watch. Woo! <laughs> oh! Ouch! Look at that, guys. Didn't go anywhere. <laughs> Alright. That was the Low Loader Gale Trailer. SC version 1.0. Okay, next up. Oh, here's this thing. I might as well show you this since I'm here. Let's do it start. It sounds like it's not going to start, but unfortunately, well, it's already unfolded, and then it gets really quiet. Let me do that again. Listen. <laughs> I wish they'd get this going, though, because it, it is pretty cool. Look at his hands. That's another thing I was laughing at. Talk about an uncomfortable position. So, yeah, once it starts up, it gets super quiet. So, the only thing that really works on this is the beacons. And you can lower the implement, but when you press the B button, I should bring up my toolbar there, it doesn't do anything. It's saying, see up top in the top left hand corner, the B, it's saying off and on, but it won't pick up anything, unfortunately. So, yeah, I was kind of disappointed because I wanted to review this. And the lights are unfinished. Look at the lights. Look. I don't know why they'd upload this like that. That's terrible, but there it is. I put the link down below in case somebody wants to grab that and, uh, fix it up because it is pretty cool and oh everything's backwards here but left is right right is left but yeah it's unfortunate I don't know why they'd upload it like that but if somebody could take that and fix it up it'd be fantastic okay let's go external I'm gonna move to our next one now I have a few different ones of these set up so we're gonna be testing all three I have grass here in front of me and I have hay next door. So let's unfold this. Okay, that's, I gotta switch over to the front. Let's try that again. Unfold, lower down our implement, turn it on. Then I'm going to switch back to the bale trailer. And it has belts and stuff, but it, nothing moves anywhere anyway. 
So what you're going to get to do is press the X button for work position to start loading the bales on. So let's try this out. So they should stack up there nice and neatly. You can mix and match your bales. So if you don't press the X button when you start this up, it's just going to push the bales onto the back and they're not going to stack. The bale doesn't even reach the end of the baler before it uh, pops onto the back. You can see that just works just fine. Let me get rid of this screen and get a better look at it working. Throw our beacons on. And straighten up. Nice little animation on the front there. sure if that animation's backwards, if that uh, screw should be going the other way or not. Not 100%, but they did a fantastic job with this. And coming with the bale trailer, I think this is fantastic. So, let's stop here. Oh, I didn't want to disconnect. I just wanted to turn everything off. Let's bring that up again. I'm pressing the wrong button. That would do it. Okay. So, let's switch back to the front. Turn this off for a second. Fold that back up. There's probably a bale stuck in there. Okay, go back to the trailer and you can unload by pressing. Where are you? Work position. Isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Unload center, sorry guys, it's the B button. And there you can see where you can drop it off. So any side or the back or the middle. So I'll drop them off and then I imagine you press the Y button, yes, and there you go. So it does hold three layers, 24 bales all together, three layers of eight. So let's move on to the next one. Quickly lower that down. Get up, unfold it first. Start it up, go back to the trailer, hit work position X, and we're off. And as you can see, it works just fine with that too. Really cool mod. So somebody was saying with the other one, too bad somebody couldn't like fix it up so it's not a half case half new haul and well it only took a couple of days and here you go fantastic working too everything works just great okay so we will stop right there because we have one more on the straw to test out right here okay let's jump over to the front lower that down unfold throw our beacons on Start it up, go back to the trailer, and hit X to work position, and let's go. And it works just fine on the straw. So like I said, you can uh, you can mix and match those two. It doesn't have to be the same bales on the same trailer, but very, very cool. <laughs> and like I said, you can hit the L button if you want the, uh, if you want the, the straps on there but you don't really need them because it's not going to go anywhere very very cool Can pick up all that oh well, almost okay that should do it let's jump on out of here and there you have it guys Double mod review down in the books. That was the New Holland Power Baler version 1.0 along with the New Holland Auto Load Bale Trailer. And then we have the Low Loader Gale Trailer SC version 1.0. Additional inf information and links will be down below in the description, guys. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, maybe you can leave a like on your way out. And uh, I still got my Patreon up, guys. If you'd like to uh, donate some money to the channel, it always helps. And if you're new to the channel, guys, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day. 
and Let's Plays every other day. So guys, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.